What's good with y'all boys, man? I hope y'all are staying blessed as always and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, I'm finally dropping my dribble move loadout for season six. And we got a lot to talk about in this video, I'm not gonna lie, because people are hyping up one specific dribble move of season six that a lot of these taller guards are using. And I'm just gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop in the Gatorade facility, we're gonna dribble around, we're gonna compare different SIGs in this video. And as always, y'all get to see the six eight with the 99 driving dunk build just go absolutely crazy build video link is down in the description along with all my jump shots down there make sure y'all drop a like on the video before we even get into it subscribe to the channel make sure you're subbed up because i swear youtube be unsubbing people so go ahead double check to see if you're subscribed also have the post notifications on so you get notified every time i'm streaming let's go ahead and get into my personal drew move loadout that i'm using for season six now first we're going to be going over the tall guard six because that's what most of the community is using those tall all guards six five to six nine now size up i am using now i'm using kobe bryant i'm not gonna lie i wasn't using kobe bryant at the time of recording this video but now i'm using kobe bryant i love kobe bryant bro I, I i'm into the hype bro i gave him the hype i used to use d wade d wade's also cool if you're six nine you can't get kobe bryant so go ahead and use d wade but d wade or kobe bryant would be perfect but this is the the thing that everybody's hyping bro zach levine new size up escape package you get the trey young misdirection behind the back and it's you know all cool and shifty i'm a shit on an all video bro but use kevin durant size up escape package on every tall guard build pretty much every build that's not under 6'5 use kevin durant size up escape package i'm gonna show y'all why i'm gonna show y'all why in this video but go ahead and copy all of these things down these are what i use on my 6'8 this is what i'd be cooking shit with bro and back into the gameplay the kevin durant size of escape package is the best one if you're not six four under as i just flex on that man that's bad and i'm gonna show you guys in this video specifically and compare it specifically to the zach levine the new size of escape package that we got in season six now the crab crossover with the zach levine size of escape package bro it not only does it pull you forward but it's really really precise to speed boost off of and it brings you so far it just moves you too much to where you could get bumps on again the hot back it is nowhere near as good as the Kevin Durant hopback. Now the the misdirection behind the back, amazing. Look, I'm comboing up right here, and it looks good, right? To go side to side, but misdirection can't be the only move that you use. You have to be able to hop back. You have to be able to, you know, do the crab crossovers. Be able to speed boost off them. You have to be be able to speed boost in general, and. Pretty much the moral of the story is I put on the Zach Devine size up escape package and I got dropped off in the ones court. So I'm not using that shit, bro. I got my shit box. Maybe it's just me. Maybe you want a different feel of the game so you're changing up your dribble moves, which I respect, bro. The game be getting old and I'll be changing my dribble moves too. I cannot switch off of the Kevin Durant size of escape package. I'm going to show you here. Now, this is the Kevin Durant. Look, it still gets the really good crab crossover move. You can crab people on this. It's a big, wide crab, but not like too obnoxious to where you're dribbling the ball out to where it can get bump stolen like that you can speed boost off of that good but not only that it gets the good hop back to where you can completely run forward and then hop back you could speed boost forward if it's one dribble or less you can hop back out of the animation just like this and then it's almost an open shot every time they either have to play a rim run or the three they have to pick one and it also gets a good misdirection like it gets a good misdirection it gets a good crab crossover and it also gets the good hop back and i love this hop back especially when i'm isoing because if i'm rim running with the 99 driving dunk taking the dunks dunk metering they're gonna drop back every time i speed boost to the rim and whenever they do i can fully hop back while i'm in the middle of my speed boost if i take one dribble or less hop back and it's an open three guaranteed almost every single time so zach levine might get a slightly better mis misdirection behind the back which is already a hard move to do that not a lot of people in the community can do it's pretty dead even on the misdirection behind the back but the kevin durant also gets the good crab crossover and the good hop back and this hop back i'm not doing it too much in these clips here i'm really just i was trying to core posterizer on hall of fame in these clips so i was rim running my ass off but the hop back from kevin durant size of a skate package while while you're speed boosting forward might be more op than that russell westbrook crossover move that just pulls you through the defender and just puts you in front of him i will admit 100 percent this move is more op because of the build that i'm on because it has a 99 driving dunk and people have to respect that that dunk so much that people anticipate the dunk and they drop back more on this build if you have like an 80 driving dunk i don't know how much they will respect it like that 
um, but you could probably still do it. You know, people play the de they play defense. Everybody plays defense the same in this game. They pretty much drop back, let people shoot, try to bait people into a shot, kind of. And especially if you're playing park and it's just ISO, there's no swinging down in the paint, there's no help from the center, that contact dunk is disgusting. But if you're playing park threes and there's no help down there or park twos, no help from the center, no crowded paint, they have to play low. They have to play your drive. Rec and you know, they can five out, they can kind of, you know, swing with the center down there, but still, they have to make a play, they have to adjust. But on this build with the 99 driving dunk, they have to anticipate the, the dunk no matter who it is on the floor, and that makes the that makes the hop back so much more open for me. Now I said earlier this build, the link is in down in the description below. If anybody's new to the channel i've been going off on this build in the pro-am and the rec i love this build probably my best build i'm not gonna lie and my favorite build right now let's switch it up real quick let's hop on the six one six three speed demons i know y'all six four and under people y'all need plugged up on the drill moves too and i got y'all bro y'all really haven't had anything new or have anything game breaking with the new season season six i mean all the top guards they all use the same things for the most part there's a couple different variants i'm gonna show you i'm gonna go in the in the gator facility with this build too and I'm gonna show you what I'm using and you know just what I'm doing. I will drop a dribble tutorial soon, not for the 6 1, but definitely for the tall guards within a couple days, or maybe two, four days. But this is what I'm rocking for my 6 1, 6 3 guards. Steve Francis, don't use anything other than Steve Francis. Maybe Darius Garland, but all the top guards, they're using Steve Francis. I'm using Steve Francis, and then it's just like better than everything else. Trey Young, you could go John Wall here. Trey Young and John Wall are very, very similar. John Wall, you only need an 89 ball handle. Trey Young, you need 92. So if you can get Trey Young, get it. If not, no big deal. You can go ahead with John Wall. You could use Steph Curry with the Curry slide, but there's a reason you don't see anybody using this anymore. It's just not really like that. Trey Young is the best size of the skate package is the fastest westbrook cross you know pretty much everything else is the same on every build just the smaller guards they get the size of escape packages that are different and the size ups that are different try young pull up don't forget hop jumper curry you know if y'all like doing that shit definitely copy the other animations but back in the gatorade facility you can see just how tight the the zach or not the zach levine no not the zach levine you can just see how tight the trey young size of escape package is especially with the misdirections behind the back the crossover it's all tight bro so you really can't get plucked and everything's super fast like you're a speed demon bro on the 6-1 and the 6-3 you don't even like need all that all those other attributes if you put on these drill moves you can really get cooking up with these drill moves again season six didn't really offer absolutely anything they offered a uh, uh what's it Kyrie Irving dribble style but you need a 90s fuel ball nobody's getting a 90s fuel ball this year bro it's not worth it it costs too much and a 75 with michael jordan is just fine michael jordan on all builds this year that can get it but again there's a steve francis it's just so fast and so shifty with it with these builds but those are my dribble animations for season six they're not going to change so i'm gonna drop this link down in all my future descriptions so if anybody asks for my animations they can come on to this video pause on that they can come to this video man and just see what i'm rocking but that's it for today's video man make sure y'all drop the like for me subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already as always i love y'all catch you on the next one